Hi, I'm Pete. And I'm Kaz, and together we are Crafty Caravanners. We've come away to Moorhampton, which is Caravan and Motorhome Club site here in Hereford. The reason we've come to this location is because we wanted to spend some time away with our friends Trev and Sue from Posh Cats, and this is one of the stops on their three week tour that they're doing. We've been on a couple of day trips and expeditions. Yesterday morning we did a little stroll around the countryside which ended up being about 10 kilometers. Stroll. <laughs> yeah. Uh, visited a farm shop which was excellent with a you know, outside restaurant, some doggy ice cream, um, human ice cream, and we had some drinks. This morning we went to a little village what was your, what the name was? Wobley. Wobley, yeah. We went to a little village called Wobley, which was very picturesque, sort of Tudor era looking village. Yeah, lovely. Lots of black, um, so white buildings with the black wood, mm -hmm. but they, it was all wonky and crooked and yeah, really characterful and very, very pretty. And this afternoon we took a trip to Hereford and visited Hereford Cathedral, or at least the parts you're allowed to. We, yeah, very uh, impressive, wasn't it? It was very impressive. We stuck to the outside. So we've barbecued each night with Trev and Sue. That's been nice. So mm -hmm. we've we've got quite we've got an XL um, teppanyaki, and they've got a, a kind of smaller one. So um, no barbecues. Both both the men have been barbe uh, barbecuing on the um, teppanyakis. So it's been nice to um, have evening meals and chats with them. Yes. It's been a bit of a different kind of um, holiday for us. We normally are on our own, um, and we tend to eat quite a lot inside the caravan we have had extremely good weather this weekend so we have been able to put up our um, sun canopy and make the most of being able to eat outside but um, this site has no wi-fi um, well so it, it has wi-fi a hotspot at the reception yeah for all every, every single person from the campsite wants to yeah. huddle outside um, the... <laughs> and there's no cell phone reception or it's next to no cell phone reception whatsoever so it's been off grid from an internet point of view weekend from us. So no, we've had no TV, but that hasn't mattered because we've had the company of um, Trevor and Sue in the evenings, which has been a godsend yes. as well as a, a pleasure. Yes. The early 13th century church features a Norman South doorway the addition of a tower in the 14th century gave this church the second tallest spire in the county. The magpie is the symbol of the village, which is quite apt as the village is listed as a black and white village. The metallic magpie sculpture was added to the village green in 2001. Near to the town is the throne, which is the remains of a 400 year old building. These days the throne is populated by a herd of inquisitive sheep. The village of Webley in Herefordshire, England was formerly a market town. Webley is now one of the county's black and white villages. The village gets a mention in the Doomsday Book and is still pronounced the same as it was written then, with a silent O. If anyone's lost a pair of glasses, there you are. Join us as we take a day trip to the Cathedral City of Hereford. And over there is Hereford Cathedral. And we're looking at the River Wye. Why indeed. Is this thing any bigger than Bath Cathedral or not? <laughs> I think it's a bit deceiving. I think it probably is because behind this front piece here, it, it goes further on back. Yeah, I probably think it is bigger than Bath. 
we'll cool. have a look. We'll have a look. And here's an aerial shot of Hereford Cathedral. Not really. It's just a bronze cast 3D map. The restored close was reopened by the Queen, accompanied by the Duke of Edinburgh on 11th of July 2012 during her Diamond Jubilee tour. A building this old needs constant care and attention. Here's the stonemason's hut. And look at it. I think this takes some looking after. Here we have an old boot scraper, as demonstrated here by Peter. Handy for scraping ye oldy cow muck off your boots before going into church. In friendship and by the grace of God, the Lady Chapel restored 1997 to 2004. And then we've got some interesting stuff going on around the outside over here. Yeah. We've got the National Trust symbol. Yeah. Coat of arms of something or other, I'm guessing something Hereford. Yeah. The, oh look, that looks the, a bit like a compassy thing. It's the uh, cross compass yeah. um, or dividers, and that's a symbol of Freemasonry. Okay. And then these around the outside, they look like runes. I can't read runic. Look at the writing on top of the roof. Here it is zoomed in a bit. We still don't know what it says. Let's have a quick look around Moorhampton Caravan and Motorhome Club site. Over here is the information hut. It was close to us as this was filmed during lockdown. That's our pitch, close to the facilities and sideways on. Here is the reception and a shop. Here's the ablution block, waste disposal facilities. There's also a dishwashing area, not shown, but Dotty is keeping an eye on it for us. Sue is a dog whisperer. Milo usually takes a very long time to get to know someone new, and Dotty thinks there might be a snack in the deal. Looks like Dotty could do with a snooze. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave us a comment. We love interacting with everybody that follows us. And um, if you haven't already, please subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon if you want to be notified every time that we have a video out. That's all for now. So thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Take Bye. care. Thanks for meeting up with us, Trev and Sue. We really enjoyed the weekend.